So, hi guys, good day. My name is Oliver Ali of Wahab, a Bachelor of Science in Information Technology at University of Mindanao, Davao City, a Bachelor of Elementary Education at Datu Ibrahim Aglas Memorial College. So, I am your instructor in this subject, Computer Literacy. So, guys, in this subject, guys, I will teach you how to use your computer, how to switch on, and what are the basic applications that you need to learn. So, before that, guys, always take note the important details because after this video, we will having a assessment so that I will know na kung sino yung nanood lang ng video, kung meron ba kayong natutunan o wala. So, computer literacy. Computer literacy, guys, it is a study of a basic application than the program. Why? Kasi nga, pag sinabing application, guys, madali lang than the program. Kasi nga, pag ang program, guys, ginagamit lang po yan for the uh, using a system, kung alam mo kung magano yung system mo or hindi. We have a uh, lot of program na ginagamit na for IT only. So, para sa inyo na mga education, o para sa atin na education, where ang uh, para lang sa atin is yung mga application na which is common. Like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, or we called it Microsoft Office. So, sa Microsoft Office, guys, napapulog na dito yung tatlong sinasabi ko. So, computer literacy, pag sinabing computer literacy, meron yung basic terminology. Pag sinabing computer, pag study of the computer, meron yung mga ter terminology or the basic terminology. Ano ba yan? We have the computer, we have the hardware, and we have the software. Pag sinabing computer yan, computer is an electronic devices for storing and processing data according to instruction. I mean guys, when the computer is storing a data, pag nag-store siya ng data guys, ibig sabihin, computer yan. Pag nag-processing din ng data guys, ibig sabihin, computer yan. Pero ang computer, they cannot work without instruction of the user. Ibig sabihin guys, hindi yan gumagana pag walang instruction, instruction ng user. So, sino yung user guys? Tayo. So, ibig sabihin pala, si computer pala hindi gumagana nang walang nagkakuman. Yes, kasi nga, ginawa yan ng tao. So, mas magaling yung tao kaysa kay computer. Hardware. The physical components of a computer. Pag sinabing physical components yan guys, it is a tangible. Means, pag sinabing physical, yan yung nakahawakan natin guys. Ibig sabihin, yan yung monitor, CPU, keyboard, and mouse. Pag sinabing tangible, yan yung hardware. And we have the software, the non-physical. Ibig sabihin guys, pag sinabing non-physical yan, it is a non-tangible parts of the computer. Ibig sabihin, hindi yan nakahawakan. Hindi mo yan pwedeng ilipat, gamit ang gamay mo. But, it is an important part of the computer. Why? Information handling parts of the computer. Means guys, siya yung humahawak ng information ng computer. Without this guys, hindi natin malalaman kung gumagana ba yung system natin or yung computer natin without software. At saka si software din ang nagbibigay ng information sa atin about sa computer natin. So what are the two, two parts of the computer? We have hardware and software. Hardware. Okay guys, there's the type of hardware. Okay, ang alam lang siguro natin ang hardware. Hardware, yung nasa palengke, ganun, biro lang. So, pag sinabing hardware guys, meron tayong tinatawag na CPU or the Central Processing Unit. Or we have monitor, mouse, and keyboard. But before that guys, I know some of you na alam na yung CPU. Pero malaki. Yun yung pagkakaalam natin. CPU. But guys, mali yun. Kasi nga, ang CPU is a brain of the computer. Pag sinabing brain of the computer yan guys, ibig sabihin, maliit lang yan. Para ding tayo. We have the body and we have the brain. Ibig sabihin, yung brain natin, hindi kasing laki ng body natin. So, same din sa system unit, sa computer. 
So, alam ko sa inyo, ito yung alam nyo na CPU. So, pagkakaalam nyo, ito yung CPU. Tama ba? So, kung iba alam na to, baka may idea na sila about computer or nadaanan nila yung computer literacy. So, ang tawag dito guys, ira system unit. Tandaan, ang tawag dyan, ira sa system unit. Bakit siya tinawag na system unit? Because a set of computer hardware inside of that box or inside of that six system case. So, ibig sabihin, meron na yun siyang tinatawag na power supply, meron siyang motherboard, meron na yun siyang RAM, hard disk, and DVD room. Ibig sabihin, a set of a computer, a harsh computer hardware na kung saan nandiyan na lahat ng hardware para gumana yung computer natin. So, tandaan, ano yan? Okay, system unit. Again, it's a system unit. So, sir, ano bang itsura ni CPU? So, guys, yan si CPU. A small chip. But, kahit ganyan ng kalit, guys, napakalaki ng halaga niya because it's a brain of the computer. So, without this, guys, hindi rin gumagana yung computer natin. Okay, we're talking CPU, the brain of the computer. Like what I said before, siya yung utak ng computer at siya yung nagpapagana kay computer. And we have monitor, a screen used to display what's going on. Ibig sabihin, ito pa lang siyang monitor, siya yung nagpapakita kung ano yung nangyayari sa computer natin. Tandaan, pag sinabing used to display what's going on, si monitor. Tandaan guys, balikan natin yung CPU. Paulit-ulit po daw to, lumabas sa LED. At sa time din namin, lumabas din po si CPU. Pati si monitor. So, take note that guys, kasi nga, pag exam nyo ng LED, swerte nyo kasi may score na kayo. Paulit-ulit lang po yan. Then we have mouse. Pag sinabing mouse, daga ba yan? Oo, yung may mouse na daga. But this time guys, ang mouse na to guys, a device that can be used to move around the computer screen. Ibig sabihin, ang mouse na pala na ito na sinasabi ko, ito yung mouse na umiikot sa computer screen natin. Nakikita nyo yan. Yan. Yan si mouse. So yan. Ibig sabihin, yan pala yung ginagawa ni mouse. Siya yung umiikot sa buong screen natin at siya rin yung pumapasok sa application na gusto natin pasukin. Then we have trackpad. A rectangular device that act like a mouse. Usually seen on laptop. Ibig sabihin guys, eto naman si trackpad kaparehas ni mouse. Pero naka-rectangular shape lang siya at nakikita lang to siya guys sa laptop. Keyboard, a device used to input text. So it easily to remember this one kasi nga input text. Pag input text yan guys, alam mo na keyboard. So yun lang yung uh, ginagawa ni keyboard. Nag-i-input lang tayo ng text gamit si keyboard. So, ano bang itsura ni keyboard? Ito, guys. Ito si keyboard. Okay? Ayan. Ayan yung keyboard. Then, we have mouse. Ayan, mouse. Ayan, guys. Si mouse. Ayan. Software. So, ito na guys. Ito yung uh, non-physical and non-tangible parts of the computer. So, we have three types of software. We have operating system or we call this one OS. Para sa amin ng mga IT, tinatawag namin ito na OS. We have desktop and we have a program or application. So, operating system, the underlying software that Runs all the computer hardware. 
and software. Ibig sabihin guys, pag sinabing OS yan or operating system, siya yung nagpapatakbo ng computer. Lahat ng hardware ng computer, siya yung nagpapatakbo. Ibig sabihin, without this guys, hindi mo malalaman kung tumatakbo yung computer mo or yung hardware mo. Kaya nga, meron tayong tinatawag na software. Software, ito si operating system. So, ibig sabihin guys, without OS guys, hindi mo malalaman na tumatakbo yung hardware mo, kung magana yung motherboard mo, kung magana yung hard disk mo, may mga RAM. So, hindi nyo na yun kailangan alamin ano yung mga RAM kasi nga, masyado na yung malal malalim para sa inyo. So, nasa basic lang tayo, ang importante, alam nyo na meron tinatawag na operating system sa isang computer. At yan yung nakikita natin na Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. Yan yung tinatawag ng OS. Now, desktop. Essentially, the computer, the computers. O nga, pag sinabing desktop yan, guys, a set of the computer. Pero depende rin sa tawag. Meron tayong desktop, desktop view, o yan yung home, home view natin. Pag open mo ng computer, yan yung unang makikita mo. First screen, you, you see once you're logged in into computer. Like what I said, pag open mo ng computer, yun yung automatically na nakikita natin after natin mag-login. So, meron dalawang application doon. Even pag nag-reformat kayo, nag kayo ng computer niyo, automatically, hindi yan nawawala. We have the recycle bin and my computer. Program or application. A piece of software designed to, to accomplish a, a specific task. Ibig sabihin, guys, Pag sinabing application, yan yung software na tapos na at meron siyang specific task. Or meron siyang ginagawa na yun lang talaga yung kanyang ginagawa. We have an example of that guys is Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is using for encoding only. We have Microsoft Excel using for calculation and formulation. So hindi mo pwedeng gawin na si Microsoft Excel, dun ka mag encode ng mga letter mo kasi nga, hindi pwede. And hindi mo naman pwedeng gawin kay Microsoft Word na dun ka mag-formulate ng isang bagay kasi nga, they are a specific task. Ibig sabihin, meron sila kanya-kanyang kakayahan, guys. So, yan yung application. Pag sinabing application, yun lang yung kaya niyang gawin kung ano lang yun na program sa kanya. So, okay. Andito na tayo. Turning the computer on. Press the power button. So, look at for a symbol like the one to the right. Ibig sabihin, guys, hanapin nyo yung symbol na kanito. Ibig sabihin, pag nahanap nyo yan, yan yung tinatawag na switch. So, dyan yung switch on yung computer nyo. So, sa desktop, meron din daw ganyan. Wait until you see login screen. Ibig sabihin, once you press that button, guys, hintayin nyo hanggang magpa-pop up yung login screen. Ibig sabihin, papalagin kayo. So, guys, ito yung tinatawag na desktop view. Okay? Ayan. So, nakita niya itong naka-highlight na yellow. Yan. Yan yung isang bagay. Kahit mag-reformat pa kayo, yan yung dalawang bagay na hindi na mawawala sa system nyo. Automatically, mag install na yan. Yung application na yan na dalawa. So, sabi dito, after you log in, you should see the desktop. Ibig sabihin, guys, after you log in, guys, ito yung may kita nyo. Two picture highlighted in yellow are icon. Ibig sabihin, lahat nito, or ito na kita natin, ito daw yung icon. Okay, this can be used to open things or start a program. Ibig sabihin guys, itong dalawang to, pwede mo tong open para mag-start ng program. Or pwede mo, halimbawa, may hinahanap kang files. Tandaan guys, sa computer, or sa iba, ang lumalabas dyan is my computer. Once you click that one, ma-open mo yung file mo. 
So, meron tinatawag dyan na partition. We have two partition. Pero sa ginagawa ng mga nagre-reformat ngayon, one partition only. Pero sa akin, two partition. We have the Windows file and we have my file. Ibig sabihin, dito sa Windows file, dito nakasave lahat ng program mo. Once na nag-reformat ka guys, automatically lahat nun mawawala. So, pag dalawang partition ka, meron kang tinatawag na backup. Kahit na-reformat yung Windows file mo, pag meron kang isang uh, partition, automatically lahat nung nasa partition, second partition guys, hindi yan mawawala. Kaya nga, pag nag-save kayo ng files, wag dito sa desktop. Pasok kayo sa computer, hanapin nyo yung second partition at doon kayo mag-save ng file. Para i if may mangyari sa system nyo, um, pasukin man yan ng virus, mag-log man yan, kahit ipa-reformat nyo man yan, yung file nyo, save. So, we have mouse. Left button, click to start program or select option. So, ibig sabihin guys, pag once you click the left button, ibig sabihin, nag-select kayo ng program, or nag-select kayo ng option. Nag-start kayo ng program or nag-select kayo ng option. Then, ang right button naman, open up menu of different things you should can do. Ibig sabihin guys, like this, pag nag-right click kayo, op, op, bakit? Ayan. Hindi makita. Okay. Ayaw. So, pag nag-right click kayo guys, hindi makita dito. Pag nag-right click kayo guys, may makikita kayo dyan, option. So, ibig sabihin, pwede kayong mag-refresh, mag-cut, cut or paste. Ganon. Pag nag-right click kayo. Unlike naman sa left click o left button, makakaselect kayo ng program. So, halimbawa, you want to highlight this one, ang ginamit ko dyan is left click. So, once na mag-right click ako dyan, hindi na hihita dito, pero dito sa main screen ko, mayroong option na lumalabas. And ang lumalabas dito is copy, paste. Yun yung mga basic na ginagamit natin. Okay, mouse count. So, ibig sabihin, middle button, use to scroll, move the picture on the monitor. Up and down. Ibig sabihin, si mouse count guys, ito yung nasa middle button. At ang ginagawa nito, kagaya nito nakikita nyo guys, nag-scroll up and down ako. Gamit yung nasa middle button ni mouse. Ayan. So, on laptop, this is usually on the right side of the track. But, pero ngayon guys, sa laptop ngayon, na version, wala na itong trackpad. So, hindi nyo na rin ito mahanap. Nasa kay mouse lang talaga ngayon, ang merong trackpad. Basic movement. Move the, move the mouse to move the cursor and the monitor. Ibig sabihin guys, pag kinalaw mo yung mouse na hinahawakan mo, automatically, mag-move din yung cursor sa monitor. Ito yung tinatawag na cursor. Ito yung icon ng cursor, guys. So, meron siyang dalawang type. Pero ngayon, nag-iisa na lang. Wala na to. Wala na tong naka-like sign. Ito na lang. Itong arrow sign na lang yung natitira ngayon. So, we have yan. Right. Right, right. Left, left. Forward, up backward and down. So, ganyan yan guys. Ganyan. Yan. 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 Nakikita nyo yung mouse. Yung crosser ko. Yan. Ganyan siya gumagalaw guys. Ganyan. So, once na ginalaw ko yung mouse, gumagalaw din to. Itong si crosser. So, ginalaw ko siya at the right. Ayan. At the left. And up and down. So, ganyan gumagalaw si mouse. Pinaikot ko. So, I think, guys, 
Okay, we have this one pala. Before I end this, proceed muna tayo. Start menu. So, start menu guys. Ito yung nakikita natin. Or ito yung nakikita natin sa button. Nasa baba. An application that can be used to start other program. Ibig sabihin, ito siya guys. Na ginagamit to siya guys para gumamit ng iba pang program. Click press the left mouse button unless stated otherwise. Click the windows button at the bottom left corner of the monitor to open the start menu. Ibig sabihin guys, once you click this, this application, meron dyan lalabas na lahat ng application mo automatically lalabas na dyan guys. Ibig sabihin, yung new installed at saka yung hindi mo pa na-installed na application or yung running pa ng application mo automatically lalabas once you click this icon. Paano tandaan yung start menu? Meron siyang four colors. So, pag nakita mo yung four colors na yan, yung ganitong shape niya, ibig sabihin, ang tawag dyan is start menu. So, ito yung first program guys. Ito yung tinatawag natin na notepad. So, ito guys, hindi na to siya in-install. Automatically installed na to sa system nyo. So, once you click this no, this uh, application, automatically makakapag-encode na kayo. So, how to see this program? Inside the start menu. So, saan yung start menu? Andito. Once you click the start menu, automatically makikita mo na to. Pag hindi mo yan nakita, go to the search box. Nandito guys si start menu. Click mo si start menu. Search mo. Type mo. Notepad. After you type that, enter. Automatically, andun na. Notepad. And double click. And ma-open mo na yan. So we have minimize and maximize and end. So ano ba yung minimize at maximize and end? So ito yung icon guys. So at the top of application or open application, you see this. So ibig sabihin, pag nag-open ka ng application, automatically makita mo to guys. In the top right corner of the window, ibig sabihin, nasa top, nasa right daw siya, at the top. You will see three buttons from the left to right. Ibig sabihin, makikita mo siya from the left to right, nasa taas. So, this one is minimize, and this one is maximize, and this one is end, or close, or exit. Minimize. Take the program off the screen, but don't stop it. Click the minimize button to minimize a program. Ibig sabihin guys, once you click the minimize button guys, hindi porket na na-click mo na siya, na-minimize mo na siya, na-stop mo na yan. Hindi niya daw ma-stop yung program. So if you want to minimize your program or your application, just click this one. And automatically, magpa-pop up yan, papapa. Ibig sabihin, hindi naman siya magsasarado or mag end but automatically, hindi mo lang siya makita kasi nga naka-minimize. Okay, to restore, para ibalik. Paano ba siya ibabalik? I-unminimize mo siya or unmaximize mo siya. A program. Click the program icon on the task bar at the bottom of your screen. Ibig sabihin, I-click mo yung application na nandito sa tinatawag na taskbar. Yan. Yan yung tinatawag na taskbar. So, andito si notepad. Halimbawa, naka-minimize mo. Click that one and automatically lalabas siya. Yan yung tinatawag na minimize or maximize. So, maximize. Make a program. Take up in the entire screen. 
click one of the maximize button to maximize a program. So, ibig sabihin guys, once you click this one at the middle or yung tinatawag natin maximize, magpo-full screen daw yung application natin. Once you open the application, ganito lang siya kaliit. So, ang gusto mo, kakainin nung application mo or yung window, yung entire screen. So, anong gagawin? You need to click the maximize para kakainin niya yung buong screen mo, guys. To restore the program, click on the maximize button. Ibig sabihin, kung gusto mong ibalik siya sa ganitong kaliit, you need to click the maximize only. So, at the same, same din sila ni minimize, click minimize, mawawala. Click the application at the taskbar, automatically lalabas. Now, you want to full screen your application or your window, click this one, automatically full screen yan. You want to restore at the first, na pag-open mo, click it again, and babalik yan kung anong size niya dati. So now guys, I think that's all. Pero before we end this class, magre-review muna tayo. So computer literacy, study of a basic application in a computer. So we have the basic terminology, tandaan yan. Computer, we have the hardware and the software. Hardware, we have what? Four types of hardware. We have the CPU, monitor, mouse, and keyboard. Include nyo na rin dyan yung panglima, yung system unit. Kasi nga guys, hindi po CPU yung tawag doon. It is a system unit. So, tandaan, pag malaking box, a set of uh, computer hardware, or parts of the computer, ibig sabihin, tinatawag yan siya na system unit. So, software. We have three software. We have the OS. Pag sinabing OS yan, pag sinabing Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, yan yung tinatawag na operating system or OS. Pag sinabing home view, yan yung tinatawag natin na desktop. Pag sinabing Microsoft Office, pag sinabing Chrome, Facebook, Yan yung tinatawag na program or application. So, turning on. You need to see this logo. Siyan nyo, switch on yung computer niyo or your laptop. So, desktop. Ito siya. Yan yung view ng desktop. We have two icons here. The computer and the recycle bin. Mouse. Yan, we have mouse. Three button of mouse, left, right, and the middle button. Basic movement, up and down, back forward, right, right, left, left. And we have the crosser. Okay, this is the icon of crosser, guys. Tandaan. This one, we have like, si like sign. Start menu. O, oh, the button yan. Tandaan. Saan yan makikita? The button. Pag hindi nyo nakita, tandaan yung color. For colors. And what is the first program? The first program installed in our computer, it is a notepad. Tandaan. First program. Pag sinabi yung first program, notepad. Okay. The three icon at the bottom. At, at the top, we have minimize, maximize, and end. So once you minimize your system, but you don't want to end it, you need to minimize. You want to full screen your window or your program, just click maximize. And you want to end your program or your window, just click this one, end screen. So talking about exit, end a program and remove its window. 
you cannot unexit a program, you must start it again. Ibig sabihin guys, pag in-exit mo na yan, hindi mo na yan pwedeng ibalik. Automatically, i-open mo yun ulit. So, hindi mo na yung pwedeng ibalik. Kung hindi mo na save yung file mo, hindi mo na save yung work mo, automatically, mawawala na yun. So, that will be all. Thank you and good day.